Guys, I have very important news. <laughs> very important news. Come close as I tell you this. We're moving. <laughs> You heard me correctly. We are moving. We are moving. This is a very abrupt part two to the home. I can't even, it's not a series, okay? I only gave you one video, but I gave you a lot of information in that video about our home circumstances and how chaotic it has been and how disappointed we've been with the whole process. And we're moving, guys. Wow, okay, so where do I begin to tell you all the tea? basically shortly after we kind of came to a head honestly by the time i had recorded that video for you all things had come to an apex do you understand it was just it was time and we had been doubting ourselves on whether or not we could move anytime soon like i just i honestly i took a lot of the blame because obviously i bought this house and i just felt very stuck i used a grant program through ofa that i thought was going to keep us um, here like I thought I wasn't gonna be able to sell the house for a period of time because of the fact that I took the grant or else I would have to pay the grant back so yeah I had just kind of counted us out from being able to move but then when the apex hit I was like let me just start asking questions and reading my documents okay like I told y'all things that I hadn't fully done in full transparency the first round I was like no so I went and started fishing through everything reading everything went and found a contact number um, email address actually for OFA to ask them directly like what are the stipulations behind this grant that I used and can I move because we need to get out of here <laughs> and so I actually emailed them and found out that I can move and I don't have to pay it back for anyone that's interested and maybe you're thinking about using the OFA grant for grads which is you can use it up to what is it 24 months after you graduate um and they give you money toward your down payment and closing costs basically uh, but they do it like they basically give it to you as a loan but they take money off um, in increments every year for up to five years until it's absolutely gone and the thing is people think that they give you the grant to be a homeowner at a specific home for five years but the grant for grads is actually targeted at keeping graduates of Ohio institutions in Ohio. That's what it is. They want the talent to stay in Ohio. So if you're thinking about using this grant, um, just so you know, as long as you provide proof of um, living in Ohio for the five years after you use the grant, you won't have to pay the grant back. Ding, ding, ding. So thankfully, I have to pay the grant back, which was like, a go light for us we were like okay at least we know we can get out of here so from there we just started taking the process seriously and uh, we actually had a friend who recently bought a condo and had a amazing experience with a realtor um, and we'd heard about this realtor before but um, hadn't like actually moved forward with them and so we ended up having a conversation with a realtor he is in freaking incredible has made this process literally a breeze and that's a message for somebody because I think we really be counting ourselves out of stuff that is totally possible for us but we just count ourselves out because we think like oh that just seems like something I can't do that's actually for home ownership in general there's a lot of people I think that don't recognize the options that are out there and count yourself out because you think you're not a millionaire and like that's not the only way to be a homeowner I'm just throwing that out there but anyways all this to say, the process went from just an interest meeting to the, with the realtor to him like doing a walkthrough of our house and letting us know like how realistic it is to sell. Once he gave us the green light of like, this house is actually in good condition to sell. Maybe I was, we were undone. It was just like daily becoming more and more real that like, oh, we can really get out of here. Like all the excuses that I gave for like, oh, we can't sell this house were all being knocked down of like, no, you can sell this house. And I was like, you know, I have only owned it for a year and a half. Like that was another reason none of that mattered. Literally none of that has held up our process. So yeah, 
it's an exciting week because we've been working on kind of some home improvement like very minor things like changing out um outlet covers and changing out screws in the cabinets because they were installed incorrectly um screws in, the, in some of the doors that were installed incorrectly so like very minor things that my handy plumber husband has taken on very easily so that's the kind of stuff we've been working on we still have a list of things that we need to knock out before this wednesday because y'all they're coming this wednesday to stage the house which he basically was like we don't really have to stage anything like he kind of you know gave me a little flex moment about how i've decorated the place which made me feel really good yeah. um but yeah so they're coming to do like just general staging making everything look as you know spacious and all the things that it can look um and then they are taking photos that day and one thursday which i don't know when i'm getting this video for you guys i'm gonna try to get it up before then so that this is still exciting <laughs> but thursday of this week they are listing our property i am stoked so we just need honestly our prayer is to just break even to be honest like obviously a profit would be amazing it would take some of the stress off of the moving i also didn't do an introduction i'm now realizing <laughs> so this is your first time on my channel and um you had no idea what was going on for the first six or seven minutes of this video hi my name is gaby <laughs> I am almost one year into marriage. I am one and a half years into being a homeowner. And I don't know what my YouTube channel is these days. Life in my 30s, figure it out, okay? I just turned 30 a couple months ago. And we just out here figuring the thing out, okay? And so here you are. Thanks for being here. I hope you want to stick around because it's about to get exciting. It's really about to get exciting. I didn't get the chance, um, not fully to like, no, because I wasn't on YouTube really at that uh, period of time in that season of being able to walk you guys through the process of buying my first home. So now I get to do that this time. Ah, it's so exciting. Okay, <laughs> so back to what I was saying. You're probably thinking, okay, you're listing your house, but where the heck are you going to go? Oh, well, friends. Ah! <laughs> Last Friday, we went into contract for a brand new build condo in one of the burbs i don't know if i can really call it is, is that a, i would i would call it a suburb for sure it's definitely like on the outskirts of columbus um no longer like a columbus address um which i'm perfectly fine with we are both perfectly fine with because the city itself of columbus is just as far as purchasing homes, it's just a little rough. That's just the honest answer. There's a lot of issues in the actual city of Columbus when it comes to real estate. That's why the reality that I quickly realized is that a lot of the people I work with all live outside of Columbus and we all drive into Columbus well, they all drive into Columbus for work and then they drive back out. And I, you know, after a year and a half of owning a home in an actual Columbus, uh, with an actual Columbus address, I, I understand that now. And we will be joining them in their reindeer games of living elsewhere and driving into Columbus, okay? So we found this brand new build, a uh, condo um, community that they're building up. And I am just, we are both very excited the process of even seeing it being built and all of that and knowing like we'll be the first ones in there it's a brand new build it was right in our budget um and i'm sure we'll talk more eventually about like why we even went condo route versus um a single family home which is what this is um obviously there's pros and cons obviously there are pros and cons to having a condo, having shared walls, and all of that again. Um, but the pros certainly outweigh the cons. Um, and just, yeah, it just, it made sense with our timeline. It made sense with our budget. Um, so, yeah. So, around September or October is when we will close on our brand new condo. <laughs> So 
we've already started the like driving by it it's literally in framing right now like it's not even like it's a thing but it's a frame if you know what i'm saying like it's just the paneling but babe drove by it the other day because it's just like it's exciting it's just exciting and to know like it would be such a different living experience especially compared to our current living experience it's just like one thing about my God, okay? There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is always room for redemption in a story. Don't ever feel like you are just too stuck in something and that there's no way out. Because baby, when I say, when we move into that place, I'm probably just gonna lay on the floor and cry for an hour like quite literally will be inconsolable like just leave me there just leave me in a corner while i sob and and praise the lord like i'm going to have the worship music going i'm saturating that place in worship and i'm just gonna cry because lord and like i have to say even still although our current situation is not ideal i have to be really careful to just say thank you for how God has provided even in the min even in the meantime like while our situation is not ideal we have not been in any like uh pressing danger like no one has brought danger to our doorstep um you know like we've been protected here and I know that the Lord will continue to protect us um and and honestly like even in this gap of time before we close like there's still some things that just need to be worked out as part of the process and we are just believing god i feel like we are gonna see god do some miracles in our lives i think even with the sale of the house like i just i'm looking forward to god just blowing our minds with that and yeah i'm just i'm i'm honestly really genuinely excited about the entire thing and getting to do this like with my husband is even more exciting um I feel like that's a part three I don't know or maybe I'll fit in this vlog but just about like as much as I love being able to have that moment of like look at me I bought my own house before getting married like in hindsight that was a flex that I don't know I needed to have I feel like I yeah I, I don't I don't know if that's a flex that I needed to have I don't know if it was the smartest move obviously we talked through all the reasons why this purchase wasn't necessarily the smartest move especially knowing at the time we were considering getting married soon and I think I've heard varying stories but honestly being able to to start a place together really makes a difference it just does like moving someone into a space that at one point was yours it's just it's a weird dynamic very solvable very much not the end of the world but this next space i think is just going to be extra special for us because it's ours you know that's not to say that you know my interest in interior design and setting up a place may not you know take over a little bit but at the end of the day it's ours like we lived in that space from day one together like we're both our signatures are on you know it's like it's just something about that is special and exciting and a completely new experience like our neighborhood is going to be a completely new experience like i'm just so excited this might be a longer video maybe depending on how i edit it but today we've got a lot to do which is why i said let me come in here and enter the video i had to put some glasses on because i literally look interesting okay i kind of just woke up out of bed and was like you know what i'm gonna start the video so a little bit more about what we have to do today so we need to go to home depot or somebody's you know uh what's it store what i was gonna say fix it store that's absolutely asinine that i was gonna say that but y'all know what i'm saying we need to go there and get uh, some of our remaining uh outlet covers we need to get um, some paint samples. I'm hoping to try to match this paint that we have on the walls because we do have some fixing up to do. Um, I need to get some ant spray because ants have decided to join me in my 
uh, office patio space. This is like built off of the house and I think that's why it's just super susceptible to um, ants and all the things. So I need to go get some ant spray. We need some wood filler because we need to tighten up the beautiful thing that we did in the dining room. I would say we always had it at like 99.9% finished and just never did that final step of like really tying it up and making it look perfect. So we need to do all of that. Um, so we need to get those things um, and then we've got to declutter some spaces like the upstairs guest room closet is just it's become our junk closet so that it needs to get decluttered and then we also need to get some bins because when they come to take the photos on wednesday we have to have like all of our personal stuff out like shampoo bottles toothbrushes all that stuff that like we add to the space and use on a daily basis we have to put that stuff in bins and put it in the basement so that it doesn't take away from um the aesthetic in the photos so really excited but there's a lot of work to do and it is currently 11 30 already which is wild because in my mind I was like oh I'm gonna wake up early it's a Sunday we're watching church from home so I was like oh well, I'm gonna wake up early and like get a good start because also our house is just a mess I'm talking to y'all a lot I had a lot to share I'm just gonna be honest with you <laughs> I know I'm talking a lot you know I'm talking a lot we have had a busy couple weeks of just all the things and the house is not in tip-top shape anyway so it's like we need to clean the house then we need to get the stuff to fix up the house and we need to declutter it's a it's a big ask for like the next 12 hours and we still need to eat like we haven't eaten anything today so all that to say it's gonna be a fun day I'm gonna try to bring you guys along when we go to the store to get stuff um, and as we kind of get work done and clean up and all the things so i'm excited to bring you guys along this time kind of in real time this is also the month of our one year anniversary in like two weeks or three weeks can y'all believe that it's actually insane so hopefully the next couple videos beyond just uh kind of keeping you guys with us through the home process. The next couple videos will actually be me going back through all the wedding content from last year and editing and getting rid of for you guys. Right now we're on home topic, Gabby, stay on topic. Okay, all right, so I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of cleanup. Steve Babe is ready to go to the store, get something to eat, and get started. I think there's a publicity stunt, question mark. No, I don't think it's publicity, I don't think it's really like it. Yeah, Kendrick can be feeling real personal. Really I personal. told you, if nobody does anything in retaliation, I'm going to think it's publicity stunt. No. Because I feel like when you go that far, Pardon? yes, when you go that far. That's not true. It's been a lot of, no. As far. No, no, it's not far because think about it. When Pusha T said the same stuff about Drake, the story added on stuff, he was going in on, on, on everything. Nothing happened. Future, nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's a lot of beasts was left and happened. Nas and Jay Z went stuff when they went back and forth. Nothing happened. You are very crazy. You see, you see that camel face? Go to my camel face. You ain't calling Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Twinkle Toes is crazy. <laughs> These dudes really be beefing. How about each other? Well, guys, we're on our way first to get some food because we're hungry, right? Can't think. Hangry would be a better word, I guess. Um, and then. I think Home Depot, we have to go to Costco because we don't have... Costco? Why are we going to Costco? Why are we going to Kroger? You didn't listen to my plan. How do you not know what I said when I was talking right to you? I don't know, I was on the up. But I... That's the second time I was trying to tell you this plan and you haven't listened. Because I hate plans. <laughs> I just go with the flow. I go with you. Okay. I'm out here. I'm hungry. Me too, that's why I can't think. Are you, I don't know, I was really thinking like... So much that I don't want to do. Y'all, we haven't had groceries for like two weeks. Two weeks. Like, two I cleaned weeks. out the fridge two weeks ago to go to the grocery store. And somehow that turned into us using our grocery money to just grab random meals throughout the day. And it sucks because it's like that meal is great for that moment, but then we have that little like urge to eat again in like a couple hours you go to the fridge and there's nothing there and it's like do i want to spend a whole nother 10 15 dollars somewhere so we've been hungry in essence and we also been eating bad real bad um, 
That's what I mean. <laughs> you mean gas station food? No, I haven't. I only went to gas station like twice. That's I'm for real. Why are you gonna say that? I'm telling you. You, you told you me just the other day. I was like, you mean gas station? Well, well, I. Uh, yes, it, the the two. The, yes, it was a deal. But that was one of the two. Like, okay, maybe three, maybe three times. I can count them out. Anyways, I just started recording to let y'all know that we left the house. We are on our way to clearly get food first, and then and then the other thing. So come along, my friend. Come along. So you gotta worry about getting nothing in your arms, uh, in your hands. Ooh! <laughs> hold on, hold on, you gotta get that. Oh no, that wasn't good enough. Yeah, that was the one. It didn't even hurt because I can't feel it. <laughs> These are nice. Getting distracted by succulents every time. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing ever. He would totally yell at me if he knew I was over here. Look how cute. Look at this one. <laughs> he caught me. Keys, look at the keys, 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 you boy. <laughs> we decided to work outdoors first, although the weather is about to change, so we've got our tarp because we have a large pile of sticks that have accumulated in the backyard, so. And people with allergies know, even though I took medication, I'm just gonna set myself up for success here and wear a mask. I didn't wear one last time and it took me like two days to recover from the way my allergies was tripping, even though I had medicine in my system. <laughs> so, I'm about to head on out. I'm pretty sure it's about to rain within the hour. So we are gonna try to hurry and get some of the main stuff done. All right, so this is the pile of sticks from, we have like a ton of trees in our backyard, really all over the property. Trees are always shedding sticks all over the ground. This is leftover from last fall that we didn't clean up, ha ha ha. 
but yeah so you can see like these were literally all super tall weeds like it looked like a jungle so i pulled out all the main ones so i just need to clean up all the little extras so that when we lay the mulch down it is like not a bad situation Friday, May 10th, I believe. Um, I look ridiculous, okay? I took my braids out last night and I didn't have a plan for how to move forward. So I ended up rocking a dirty braid out today. <laughs> and when I went to go pick up the camera, it looked crazy. So I threw this clip in. <laughs> um, but I just, I needed to update you all. So much has happened. So Tuesday night? Yes. Tuesday night, we stayed up and finished um, fixing stuff around the house, painting, all that. I did not pull out the camera. We were busting our butts because we both work full time and we're doing all this after hours to get it ready for Wednesday when the stager was coming and the photographer was coming. So we stayed up, well, babe, I think made it till 12.30ish or one o'clock maybe. And I stayed up until about 2.30 um, getting stuff done um and we did the house ended up looking so 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 cute um so it's all like staged right now it's really crazy so they came and staged which was such a compliment to me i must say that the stager was like oh i don't really need to even do anything <laughs> i said <laughs> don't gas me don't gas me i said girl just call me joanna Gaines apprentice what <laughs> So anyway, she walked around and did a little bit of stuff. Definitely had us like put more stuff away than I did. Um, I really thought I had like gotten a place to basically um, like bare bones, not bare bones, but you know, put most of our stuff that's like unique to us away. But there was a couple things in the kitchen that like our air fryer is gigantic. So she had us put that downstairs and just a couple other things. So basically we are walking like strangers around our own house because there's this app that they use to let you know when somebody is requesting a showing um and so yeah they request it and we can either confirm we can propose a different time or cancel or decline um actually can we yeah, I guess by canceling, we're declining. Anyways, we have control over when people can come see the house, which is great, um, but we can't be here either. And obviously we want the house to look ready so we can't just be chilling and like throwing our stuff everywhere. And then we approve a showing and now we gotta run around and clean the house back up. So we've just kind of been keeping the house like minimally uh, clean or like, I guess, no, we've been keeping it really clean and minimally dirty <laughs> so that we don't have to do a lot of work when we get showing. So we had a showing this morning. So I worked from Panera in the morning, took my meetings there so that I was out the way because we can't be here when, um, did I say that already? Y'all, I'm exhausted. Also, my menstrual cycle be taking your girl out. I think I've talked to y'all about this before, but like selfishly, okay, it's not time for us to be pregnant, but selfishly, I just say like, I just want to be pregnant so I don't have to deal with a period. And I know every pregnant lady in the world and every mother in the world is like, sis, you don't know what you're asking for. I understand. But what y'all don't understand is the way these cramps take me down, okay? If I hear one more of my friends or women that I interact with talk about how their period is four or five days or they they don't really know what cramps feel like. 
I'm I'm a I'm a drop kick the next person that says that. I don't know what y'all are talking about, okay? Since I was 13 or 14, I've had double over throw up style cramps. Um, I don't know why I'm telling YouTube this because everybody on the internet thinks they're a doctor and so y'all are instantly gonna try to tell me I have endometriosis and PCOS and every other thing. I just want y'all to know I have an OBGYN, okay? I have I have healthcare, hmm? <laughs> So, as of now, I have no diagnoses, okay? It just be, it just be a lot for girl. Why did I tell y'all that? To tell y'all why I look dusty and thus feel dusty. Back to what we were talking about. So, um, we had a showing this morning. I was out the house and then um, somebody requested one literally while the other showing was happening or like right after I was at Panera and another request came through. So, that one is for five o'clock this evening which is in about two-ish hours. So um, I have an event to go to tonight for church. It's women's night. I will be honest, I am a little bit more of an introvert than the people realize. Like just going to generically socialize is not really my get down. So I've been texting people that <laughs> I know already because I need a wingman. I'm not just gonna be walking around with the pasted smile like stirring up small talk with people. <laughs> the current mood, I mean, like I think if I wasn't on my cycle right now, I could like fathom doing that, you know, a little bit more. I wouldn't be like so ugh toward the idea. But the way I feel with this, like, I literally have a heating pad. This thing um, generates heat and it also does, um, like it vibrates and kind of like sends like these vibrating pulses. And it's a belt so I can just wear it. The way I feel with this on and how tired I am from how much of this week just was a lot. Just like the idea of going to socialize makes me want to fall over and pass out. Nonetheless, I'm going to try because I told myself I need to be building deeper relationships with folks. I have a ton of surface level relationships which are great and they are fulfilling for my needs. But then again, sometimes I'm like, hey, I need like close friends, not everybody, but you know, how will I ever get that if I be in a house, you know, when it's time to socialize, so. All that to say, this is a whole bunch of information y'all didn't ask for. I'm pretty sure this vlog is titled something related to us selling the house. <laughs> Y'all are getting way more information than you asked for. So I'm gonna stay focused and show you the house as it's been staged. I have a couple of my things laying around, but you'll get the you'll get the gist of the staging. And I'll show you some of the things that we did um, to get it ready. And yeah, I've just been like working on paperwork all week. Like literally, we are building a home, building a building a condo. We're building a condo selling a home and going through the work of buying a home. Technically there's like three separate processes. Like I'm, we're, we're fielding conversations with three different people. We have our realtor for selling and buying. We have our home builder and we have the lender. Like what? Paperwork for days, okay? But we're doing it, you know, we're in it. Every coin counts. So we've been counting our coins extra intensely. It probably is echoing a lot more than typical because there's so much that's not in here. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just go through it. Okay, so we've got this little area is where we usually keep like our keys and stuff like that um, on the top. And I don't know, it's like our dumping ground, but clearly it's clear, you know, a little aesthetic with our cereal. That's actually how it is on a regular time other than us dumping stuff in front of it. So we cleared that out. We actually had to replace all the screws in the cabinets because whoever put them in um, when they were redoing this house before I bought it, they put in like these short screws so all of the handles were getting loose, like all of them. So the doors were all like lopsided after a while and just loose like to the point of almost coming off. So we replaced all, well babe, replaced all the screws. He had to do the same thing here in the door. They had short screws. We need long screws because the short ones, like once you open the door all the way over time, they were literally just popping out, like literally just popping out. So he fixed that. Um, but yeah, so here is the kitchen. Um, 
cleaned up this space a little bit. We took our little Amazon show thing away. Um, obviously cleaned all of the appliances so that they are shining. Um, we didn't have the trash cans in the photos, but obviously we're living here. So like, I'm not gonna like hide my trash cans. <laughs> like, hello, we live here. Um, you may not be able to tell the wall looks any different, but actually we had never really done like the detail work across the top. Um, there were like sections that needed filling with wood filler and all we had was caulk. Um, and then we had like got <laughs> me specifically had got <laughs> some paint on the ceiling, the green paint from just like not being super careful about uh, my painting job up there. We had to sand some of the edges down. Um, so yeah, we did. Uh, well, I did all of that detail work. Um, unfortunately, we tried to paint match with the wall color, and as you can see, it's not a perfect match. <laughs> So um, unfortunately that like wall color isn't perfect, but obviously whoever buys this house will come in and may paint over all of this. You know, they may not like the colors that we chose. So we were like, hey, it gets the job done. Honestly, in person, you can't really tell, but obviously you can tell on the camera a little bit. So, but yeah, this looks like, I know it doesn't look different, but I wish I could point out to you all like how different it actually looks um, with just a little bit of detail work, so. Um, cleared all this off, our air fryer, juicer, all that is usually up here. And this is how she staged the stuff for the photos. So I've just been leaving it like that. These are all our dishes and things. She just kind of repurposed them, um, which is great. I think that one's actually like that. Um, these are my Magnolia books. She just kind of opened them up and made them cute. Um, so yeah, this is what the kitchen looks like. Laundry, I really just cleared all the stuff that we keep up on top, all of our detergents and things on top of these uh, and put them under the sink so that they don't steal away from the visual. But that's really all in here. Um, they had taken away the um, holder right here with the toilet paper and stuff and the trash can for photos. But again, we live here. I'm not hiding that stuff every time. Me personally, I just, yeah, we use it. So, but yeah, here's the space, all clean and cute. Um, What else? Oh, we are hiding some dishes in there that <laughs> the washer's not ready yet to be run. It's just not full, so we just hide them. Hopefully people aren't opening it and like smelling our dirty dishes. Nothing changed about this area. This is literally all the decor we already had in here. Um, I cleared out all of our mail that usually sits in here so people aren't in our business. Because um, it is weird, y'all. I didn't say this, but it is a very weird feeling to think like random strangers that I don't know are just walking through my house when I'm not here. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Babe are really feeling a way about that. It kind of hit him this morning where he was just like, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> and I'm like, I know. It's very strange to think random people are just walking through your house and you're not here and they could touch your stuff and they could, I mean, they could literally do whatever they want. Most people obviously are gonna be respectful. They're with a realtor if they come for a showing. That's the only way they can get the code to get a key um, into the house. So it's like, at least I know it's a professional thing if they're coming on their own. The one that's gonna get us and it really has our panties in the water a little bit is the open house on Sunday. There's an open house and it just feels very weird to think random people could literally just walk in and out of our home but that's what we're signing up for so that we can get out of here because i would much rather get out of here we both actually much rather get out of here so it doesn't matter so anywho um yeah nothing really crazy about this space this is pretty much how it is on a regular other than obviously my stuff from getting in from work um we took our photos out of here so that you know random people aren't looking at us and our family it's just a little weird um but they can still get kind of the visual of like what it would look like if it was their photos if they lived here um so yeah really nothing here we had two chairs in this corner she took one and put it downstairs and just kind of decorated the one so yeah nothing super major but it's just so funny to see the house so staged up um, this is my office space. So I cleared out all of my recording materials, like my tripod and ring light and all that stuff is packed away downstairs. 
and left my little treadmill set up. Um, they seemed to think that was okay. Um, I think it's cool too to just show like what all the space can be. There's so much room. I had so many visions for this room of like doing a corner sofa and different things like that. So obviously won't get around to that because we're getting the heck out of here. But I still think it's cool to show them what they can do in this space. And then this is the side that I work from, my office. So just kind of took like my watering can, put that away cleared most things off of my desk this is that area and then i left actually all of this this is what my thing looks like on a regular i think i usually have a candle up here and it's in one of the drawers just to not add you know extra visual extraness but yeah this is my office space um the french doors are a win i just love them so much if i could take french doors with me Cause like these are, I don't know if they've been here the entire time the house has been built. Cause I think this portion was an addition that was built onto the house. So I don't know if the French doors were here since 1925, but the house was built in 1925 and they do have a very old aesthetic. So they have been here for a long time. All this to say that old antique cute vibe that they add to the house is just really special. I really love that. Um, that is a real wood burning fireplace, but we never got it serviced since being here because masonry is expensive and it was not at the top of the list. So I've never actually burned anything in the fireplace, but it is a workable fireplace if they want to get serviced. Um, we have our little plants in the window, you know, cute, cute. In here, we cleared out all of our belongings that are usually here put them in a bin downstairs or if we use the stuff daily it's in one of these drawers but yeah so she just kind of staged with some towels we do not use these towels right now <laughs> this is just for staging and these two items were on the sink actually but she cleared the sink and put them up here which i think is super cute so this is how the shower is staged i actually need to take a shower if i'm going to women's night tonight so That'll be interesting trying to keep this from looking crazy, especially since, dang it, someone's coming at five. I don't know, I need a shower, so we're gonna have to figure it out. This is our bedroom. We basically just cleared everything out of our nightstands and put it in the drawers so it's away from the visual or we packed it away. And we just keep our bedroom looking nice and stale like this so that when people want to come see the house, it's already ready to go. And my closets are pretty much, yeah, I didn't do anything in the closets. But, you know, they're fairly put together anyway. So hopefully people don't be in my drawers because, like, it don't take all that. Look at the closet. Keep moving. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I just have it how it would normally be. And then, last but not least, the second bedroom. And we just have it made. We cleared all of our belongings and things that we keep here. Laundry basket, all that stuff. And this was a huge task for Babe. Oh, he had like tons of stuff from when... He moved in like old clothes and boxes and things in here. So he actually went through all of that, cleared it so we can see the floor and see what kind of space they have in here. He cleared a lot of the stuff up here as well. So it's just neat and cute. This is where he keeps his clothes. We have our vacuum in here, laundry basket hidden. Um, and yeah just allows people to see what kind of space is actually in here because it was packed I mean to the brim <laughs> before we cleared it out so gave a lot of stuff away to Goodwill threw away stuff so it was kind of like a spring clean too it was really great because like our house is really really clean right now like I feel like if we needed to move quickly it would take no time at all other than like having to put stuff in something like a box or a bin so yeah like i said we've got two showings today we'll see what happens for the rest of the time it's getting a ton of views and saves on zillow 
Um, and oh, haha, -ha, you all saw all the outside work actually. So I was gonna say that was the bulk of what we did was getting the outside together because the the land was looking crazy. The weeds had gone nuts. I mean, we had piles of leaves from last year that we didn't clean up that killed areas of the grass. We had to put down mulch, we had to spray the house down, I did the potted plants. Like, we've literally been grinding and adulting to the utmost degree and all jam-packed in like a couple of days. I think we've had like two weeks to get this all together. So, I am very proud of us. Um, and it's making us really excited about just this season and this move and what God is gonna do. He's already made so many ways, so I already know like whatever buyer comes through and makes an offer, like I know the offer is gonna be what we need it to be and everything's gonna go well. I'm just, I'm keeping hope alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm keeping hope alive. So, it's a wild process and I feel like the video is already super long. I'm actually gonna go get ready because I look rather interesting and I need to get out of the way and make sure I can clean up my hair and all the things that will be uh, happening from the shower before the folks come at five o'clock. So, I love you guys and I'm so excited to bring you along in real time, sort of, for this uh, home selling, home buying journey. If you have questions, things you want me or Babe to answer, if you want us to do a video together, whatever you want, just drop it in the comments, let me know, because um, we'll be walking you guys through everything that we can share. So I'm sure I'll have more updates very soon. So stay tuned if you're interested for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.